Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a meta 200k team that can destroy and annihilate your opponents in foot champions and in division rivals. This team is very, very overpowered. But with that being said, before I go ahead and dive into this incredible squad builder, I got a quick little message for you guys. So let me get straight into it. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps. All you got to do is like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications all right and once you guys have done that take a picture screenshot that head over to my instagram follow my instagram and then dm me that screenshot of you following the steps and once you guys have done that you can then end up like these guys So make sure you guys go ahead and follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad. But anyways, enough of the chit chat. With that being said, I hope you guys do end up enjoying this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, guys. So as you can see on your screens right now, for this insane 200k team, the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-3 third variation. But that's only for, for everyone um, to to get full chemistry all right there is a formation change and i'll tell you what that formation is at the end of the video once i've shown you guys the team but yeah make sure you guys do stay until the end to see what that formation is but with that being said let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the first player of this incredible team so in the striker position ladies and gentlemen we do have the manchester united center forward anthony martial this guy here is absolutely incredible in this game i really really rate him highly i think he's a good well-rounded striker He's got the physicality, he's got the strength, he's got four-star skill moves, he's got the pace, as you can see. His finishing in general is very, very good, like in one-on-one -on -one situations, just in and around the box. He is very, very overpowered. As you guys can see, he's got 89 sprint speed and 88 acceleration, 85 finishing, 83 shot power, and... 84 attacking positioning also his dribbling is very very good as well which is another feature about anthony martial i really really like um in game he smashes it bros he really really is op in game and just generally speaking i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up martial a very very good card four star skill moves pacey clinical finisher yeah man he's got it also make sure you guys go ahead and pick up martial but with that being said moving on in towards the left wing um, position we actually do have Eden Hazard man and I really really like Eden Hazard in this game I think he's so good he's so agile um, his dribbling is just fantastic he's pacey and one thing about Hazard that I love the most is that um, I, I have no idea why he's in left back but um, yeah one thing I love about Hazard the most is his finesse shots this guy's finesse shots are absolutely insane whether it's a long shot or inside the box or one-on-one -on -one situation just generally speaking for nest shots with Eden Hazard are absolutely incredible he is a meta player in this game he is a card which I, re I recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up man he is absolutely fantastic as you can see he's got 91 acceleration and 86 sprint speed 92 agility 93 balance 91 ball control 93 dribbling and 90 composure he is a fantastic fantastic player so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Eden Hazard man he really is a meta meta card in this game absolutely amazing amazing four star skill moves four star weak foot um yeah he's he, he's just got it all man so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up he is absolutely insane but to complete the attacking trio in the right wing spot we actually do have lucas mora man he is pacey again super agile very very good dribbling stats as a whole um his finishing is good as well he's just your typical sweaty um uh, right winger to be honest with you you know he will he will do a good job from that side obviously he's not as good as someone like a hazard but he still is very um effective in this game he still is a meta card as you can see man he's are absolutely insane even the way he plays in game is incredible he's got 95 and acceler acceleration um 89 sprint speed as well 79 finishing which isn't too bad but i'd say in game it feels better than that but again it's not as good as someone like a martial or eden hazard but in terms of his creativity it's still very good you know his dribbling is fantastic 93 agility 92 balance 85 ball control and 88 dribbling as well as the four star skill moves and four star weak foot so he is a fantastic card he is a card which i recommend that you guys go ahead and get but as you can see this is the trio we've got lucas mora um man anthony martial and hazard and there still is one more attacker to actually add to this trio but uh yeah with that being said let's go ahead and move on in towards the midfield all right, so moving on in towards the midfield then, in at the central centre mid position, we've got one of my favourite midfielders in the game. He goes by the name of Fred, and Fred, in my opinion, is just so OP. He's so well-rounded, he's pacey, quick across the ground, tenacious, just a very, very good 
um, midfielder, in my opinion. Very, very good. I, I like him a lot. In my opinion, one of the best uh, midfielders um, or cheap midfielders in the game anyways. Again, like I said, he's good at all. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, high, high work rates. He's a very good box-to-box -box midfielder. He's a little bit fast, in my opinion, for a for, um, centre mid. And to be fair, his pace is only 79 and... and 79 sprint speed is 79 acceleration but in game i don't know why he feels so much quicker in game he really does he really feels quick um and again that's another reason why i do like him his dribbling like uh, is very very good he's good on the ball he's small nimble agile tenacious good at tackling like i said he's just genuinely a good well-rounded midfielder so that is why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up fred but uh with that being said to partner up with fred in the left cdm spot uh for the center mid in the center mid position anyway because in game we won't be playing this formation, like I said. But to partner up with Fred in the midfield, we actually do have one of the best midfielders in the game. He goes by the name of Federico Valverde. Absolutely incredible, man. Just, yeah, he's a beast. He really is a beast, man. I I just recommend you guys get him. And to be honest, you guys, you guys watching this video probably know that already. Everyone, the whole FIFA community knows that um, Valverde is one of the most overpowered meta cards in this game. So again, do I really have to speak much about this guy? Probably not, because you guys know the situation with him already. Fantastic player pacey good at defending good at dribbling just go ahead and get him it's that simple man we're gonna move on because you got you guys should know already that Valverde is an absolute monster of a player in this game but in the right CDM sport we actually do have a striker and like I said there's gonna be a formation change but like I said you're gonna have to convert well this player here into a, a center mid slash CDM um so he does get full chemistry all right guys it is very very important that Gabriel Jesus is converted to a center mid or CDM so he does get full chemistry but again he's not gonna be playing CDM of course this is just for the chemistry um reasons but with that being said gabriel jesus in this game he's very very overpowered again i think that he is good at finishing his agility is very very good his dribbling as a whole his balance ball control all of that stuff is very 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 good um and again finesse shots with jesus as well something that i do like i've used him quite a bit this fifa i love him a lot i can't lie to you guys i really really do love him a lot um yeah fantastic card meta player um again he's not as fast as someone like mora or martial or even hazard but again what i like about him is he's so good in the run in and around the penalty box he's agile nimble very very good at finishing i think that he's a very very good striker in general he only unfortunately does have three star weak foot but at least he does have four star skill moves but with that being said gabriel jesus a fantastic player in my opinion and i really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up jesus but let's move on into the fullbacks and in the right back position guys we actually do have quadrado the five star skiller right back a very very overpowered card in this game in my opinion man i like him a lot because he's so good on the ball he's so pacey he's good at defending he's he's almost the perfect right back in my opinion one of the one of the best right backs in the game if you ask me um because yeah he's so good going forward he's got five star skill as you guys can see high high work creates 90 sprint speed 88 acceleration and then as well 91 agility 85 ball control 90 dribbling and then 78 standing tackle with 81 slide tackle so his defending stats are they're okay they're not the best as you can see like his interceptions and defensive awareness isn't the best but because he's so fast he kind of does make up for that lack of defensive ability i guess you could say and also the fact that he's so good on the ball he's agile nimble got five star skill moves he's very very um usable um so yeah when it comes to defending or attacking a very very overpowered card and i just recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up juan Cuadrado. but with that being said we're going to move on in towards the left back position and we actually do have renan lodi uh renan lodi uh, he's, he's in a lot of my scores i can't lie he's, he's a brazilian league left back he just he gets the good links right he gets the good links he's cheap obviously you know you would prefer to have someone like Ferla mendy but come on man he's, he's like 130k you don't want to spend that much on a left back unless you're building like a, a, a million coin team or something like that but um yeah Renan Lodi fantastic player I do recommend you guys go in and get him not as fast as someone like Quadrado but then you could argue that defensively he is a little bit better in terms of his interceptions and defensive aware awareness so it goes hand in hand but overall a very very good card and at least he does have four star skill moves as well so again when it comes to attacking um yeah he's very very usable um and just he gets his job done really that's all I can say he gets his job done he does what he needs to do man a very very good card just make sure you guys go ahead and get him it's literally that simple but we're gonna move on anyways and in towards the center of partnership we go we're gonna start off with 
the um, right center, yeah, the right center back position. And we've got another Juve player. Of course, man, it's going to be De Ligt. It's not going to be Chiellini. It's not going to be Banucci. It's going to be Mateus De Ligt, man. He is a beast in this game. And like, when I mean he's a, when I say he's a beast, he's a beast. All right, guys. He's so strong, physical, and just a presence in that center back spot. Very, very good at defending. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, he's got 83 interceptions, 88 strength, 83 aggression, 86 defensive awareness, 85 standing tackle. You guys get the point. He's a fantastic card. And again, when you guys go in game and you use him. You understand um but yeah as you guys can see his acceleration is a little bit low but at least he does have a decent amount of sprint speed he's got 75 um sprint speed as you guys can see there but all in all overall as a whole the lit very very good card a meta player so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but to partner up with mateus the lit in the right center back position we do have adair militao militao man you guys know the situation when it comes to him you could actually know diego carlos wouldn't get full chem um, but yeah, Militao, in my opinion, very, very OP because he's just pacey, good at defending. And it's not it's not a situation where the stats will tell you how good he is. You just got to use him. And then when you use him, you understand what everyone's talking about when this man is just so good, man. Like, he, he's just fantastic. Pacey, as you guys can see, 79 sprint speed and 77 acceleration. You apply like a shadow chemistry style, a catalyst or an anchor. His pace goes up to like almost 90. And then you get his amazing defensive stats as well. But yeah, I think he's a very, very good card. Very, very annoying to come up against. And I'm guessing a lot of you guys see him or or um yeah see him in, in in foot champs a lot but overall man a fantastic player i really really liked him when i did use him nearer to the start of fifa because yeah he's just a fantastic car man so sweaty just one of them annoying pacey center backs but um yeah with that being said to complete this incredible 200k team in the goalkeeper position you guys want to use war check chesney i think he's very very op in this game 87 rated got good stats as well um yeah there's, there's there's only so much i can say about a goalkeeper to be honest but i think he can do you guys a very very good job um yeah he's got some decent stats i think he's good in game let me know what you guys think of him but um yeah with that being said as you guys can see this is the meta 200k hybrid squad build and now for full chemistry I'm going to just quickly run over it again. Make sure you convert Jesus to a centre middle CDM. And then, yeah, literally other than that, you should have full chemistry with a manager as well. Um, and then, of course, loyalty. But with that being said, the formation that you guys want to change to in-game is actually the 4-4-2 formation. All right, guys, the 4-4-2 formation. This is a formation which I'm currently using in Foot Champions. And if you guys want to see my Foot Champions highlights, make sure you go check out my last video. But with that being said, this formation is very, very overpowered and for this team, I think it will work a lot. So this is how you guys want to set it up with Jesus and Martial up top. Um, Lucas on the right, Hazard on the left, and then Valverde and Fred as the two center mids. It's literally that simple, so make sure you guys go ahead and do it. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think of this insane 200k team. Let me know, let me know, because in my opinion, this is a very very meta team and it can destroy your opponents in foot champions and individual rivals so make sure you guys go ahead and get them. but remember to follow the steps if you want me to build your own squad and um yeah with that being said make sure to like subscribe comment all that good stuff share and until next time peace